All right, it really shouldn't be a big deal. All right, so let's go ahead and make sure you remember how to do this. All right, first and foremost, we have graphing negative x plus one. So remember your y-intercept is what? One. So that means you go up one, plot a point. So what's the slope now? No, 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 no. The slope for number one, negative one over one. So that means you go from that point down one to the right one. Down one to the right one, down one to the right one. Just make a couple points. All right, and then we're gonna draw the line. And now, how do I graph negative 5x minus 3? Someone else, give me a shot. Down 3, I like it. So I go down 3, plot a point. And then what? Negative 5 over 1, thank you very much. So from that point, I go what? Down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then what? To the right, to the right 1. Or I could go, instead of going down five, I could go what? Up five, one, two, three, four, five, and then what? Then to the left one. All right, now, do you see how the lines should have intersected, right? The intersection of the two lines is right here. Everybody see that answer? All right, so now let's look carefully at it. So that answer is, what is that point? Close, negative one comma two. The answer is negative one comma two. Anybody got a problem with that? All right, now take out your handy dandy calculator real quick. Let me show you something really cool. All right, put your calculator in your hand. Where is yours? Okay. Well, you got to bring it every day, right? Yeah, this one's got to be charged, so I don't have anything else. All right, so. All right, so with that being said, everybody got their calculator out. Go to Y equals. Type in negative X plus one. Then go to Y2 and type in negative 5X minus 3. Now, here, the other thing I want everybody to do now is go to Y equals again and go up where, do you remember where it says uh, stat plot? If it's highlighted in black, we need to turn that off because that's giving your calculated ability to plot points. We're not going to be plotting the points. All right, so where it says y equal, there's a plot point up here. Turn that off. Go above and hit enter. If it's highlighted in black, yeah, the plot one. Right, you're trying to make sure the points are, you don't want the points to be plotted on your screen. Leah, did you get that? Yeah. Okay, so now if you hit graph, all right, does everybody see the two lines are graphed? Do we agree with that? Hit graph. And then now, so what we wanna do right now is because we were uh, doing some, uh, we, were, we were modifying your uh, window, we need to change the window. All right, so I want everybody to hit zoom. 
and then you hit standard. All right, zoom standard. And when you do zoom standard, it what? Puts it, puts it back into a 10 by 10 screen. And now you should be able to see the two lines. Does everybody see the two lines now on their screen? Right? Everybody got their, their lines. All right. Now, the calculator has the ability to find that point of intersection for you. All right. So now what I need everybody to do is hit the second and then the trace button, which is the calculate. And now does everybody see their intersection is number five, correct? What do you mean after And then once you hit the intersection, it's going to say first curve, just say enter. Then when it says second curve, say enter. And then guess comes up. We don't care about guessing, just hit enter a third time. All right. And what comes at the bottom of the screen? Which is what? Negative one, two. So the calculator has the ability to find the point of intersection for you. All right. Everybody good with that? After you press second. Trace. After I hit second trace and then the second one, that's how I the last one. It's the intersection. Number five. What? Did you hit the second and the calc button? And do you see a screen up there with a bunch of different things on it? You want the one that says intersection. Which one is intersection? This is what? And I hit second trace and then do it the again. Second. Do it again. Which one do you want? Two. I one. No, the one that says intersection. There you go. Now first curve, enter. Second curve, enter. One girl. Intersection. Uh, it tells you right down there. All right, anybody got any problems with that now? All right, so here we go. Let's take a look just for practice. Number two. Plot a point at what? Everybody plot a point at negative two. From there we go what? Down five to the right four. And then draw the line. Now you're going to graph what? How do I graph the second line? Start at two. Then from there I go what? Down one and to the right four. Now you're drawing that line. Now, does everybody see how it's kind of hard for you to understand exactly what the graph is, the intersection? Because if you're not careful, right, if you're not careful with the way you plot the points, it's kind of hard to see. All right, that's why you have to be real careful. All right. That's why I want you to use your calculator, but you're also going to graph the points. This, to me, looks like the answer right here. That to me looks like negative four comma three. That looks like negative four comma three. Leah, what's the matter now? No, I don't. Okay, so now everybody take their calculator out and go to Y equals. <laughs> type in negative five fourths X minus two. 
and then type in negative one fourth X plus two. And then calculate the point of intersection using your calculator. And what does it say the answer is? Um, X is negative four. Yeah, negative four, three. <clears throat> Anybody have a question with that? All right, number three, let's graph number three real quick. Y equals negative three, Y equals negative X minus four. When you graph Y equals negative three, does everybody remember that's just a what kind of line? Thank you, horizontal line at negative three. Now, how do I graph negative X minus four? Down four, down one, right one. Or I could go up one, left one. Thank you. Now that one's kind of easy because the points are kind of close together. What's that point of intersection? I think it looks like negative one. Yes, negative one, negative three looks like the answer. Now go to your calculator, type in Y equals negative three. And Y equals negative X minus four. I don't know how you're gonna find the point of intersection. Type in on your calculator negative y equals negative three. Is it like the same y? I don't know what you mean. You go to y equals. Oh, that's what you Then you type in negative three. Then you go down to the second one and type in negative x minus four. Mr. Wash, how did you do? You know how to do it with your calculator, find the point of intersection? Well, let's figure out what the error is generally because you put in a minus instead of the negative. So go back and fix it. Leah, how are you doing? Did you get number three? Typed it in, got it correctly. Bruin, how are you doing? Good. Did you get the calculator? Get it on the calculator. All right. Okay, so I want everybody to go to number 11 now. Everybody's on number 11. What's the problem with number 11? Yes, not in the right order. It's not in y equals mx plus b. So you got to convert everything to y equals mx plus b. Come on now. So I have x plus 3y equals negative 9. What's the first step? Yeah, move the x. 3y equals negative x minus 9. Now what? Yes, dividing by three. So y is equal to negative one third x minus what? Three, perfect. Now I'm going to the second equation, five x plus three y equals three. Subtract the five x. So 3y equals negative 5x plus 3. Anybody got a problem with that? And divide by 3. So y is equal to what? x 
plus one. All right, so let's talk about it. <clears throat> Luke, how am I going to graph the first one? What am I going to do? Yes, sir. Thank you. Down three. Then what? Very, very nice. Exactly. All right. Very good. Try to draw a straight line. All right. The best you can. All right, Mr. Greep, you got the next one. What do I do? Um, go up one. Up one. Then what? Um, then go down five. And? To the right three. Perfect. Wow. And that was kind of easy because you ended up at that point already. Do we agree with that? All right. So now just based off of that, that was kind of easy. All right. What is the solution? What is the solution to that? Three, negative four. I think you're right. Three comma negative four. Anybody having a problem with that? All right, I'm feeling pretty good about that. All right, let's look at number 12. All right, Miss Kellogg, you're up. What do I have to do to solve this? You do it for y equals x. What kind of x? Negative x minus 12. Right. And then that's y equals negative 1 over 4. X minus 12. Minus what? Minus. So minus three. Yes. By the way, I think I saw you in the parade. I think I did. I did too. That was pretty exciting. All right, go. Uh, no, no, let's have Surrey. Tell me about the next one. Shh. Y equals negative 2X plus 4. Perfect. All right. Now, Katie, you tell me how to graph yours. Um, you go down three. Down three. And down one to the right four. Down one to the right four. Good job. All right, Suri. Start at four. Down two to the right one. All right. What does the answer look like? Four negative four. Is that right? Four negative four. Anybody else thinking that? Four negative four. Yes, sir. I'm telling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, buddy. Tell me. You good with that, Peter? What's the matter, Peter? Now, everybody do me a quick favor. Type in y equals negative one-fourth x minus three just for practice. You're trying to get good at using your calculator and then type in y equals negative two x plus four, then graph it and find the point of intersection and tell me it is four negative four once you've done that. If you don't have your calculator, just borrow one from your neighbor, all right? And bring your calculator tomorrow. Yeah, graph number 12. All right, with your calculator. Someone says. What? 
Okay, now I want everybody to go to number 16. Everybody go to 16, please. <laughs> Everybody's on 16. All right. For the first one, 3x plus 2y equals 2, and 3x plus 2y equals negative 6. Colton, what am I going to do for the first equation? Um, you're going to move the 3x over oh, negative 6. Two, so it's 2y equals negative 3x plus 2. And then what? You divide it by 2, then you have y equals negative 2, uh, three, 3 over 2, x plus 1. Perfect. Thank you very much. All right, Jay, for the second one, what am I doing? So you subtract 3x. So it's negative, it's 2y equals negative 3x minus 6. And then what? Exactly. All right, Colton, how do you graph the first one? Uh, you, put, you put dot on 1, positive 1. Yep. Y. Um, then you go down 3 and right two or up three left two thank you very much sir that is perfect all right jay what am i doing um, it's three. yep and... all right now what do you notice about these lines people they're parallel so how many times do they cross they do not cross so this is no solution there is no solution. Zero with a line through it. No solution. Anybody have any questions with that? Parallel lines means they do not cross. Parallel lines mean they do not cross. Anybody have any issues with that? So let me help you with another one. All right, let's give everybody a shot here, 14. All right, Maggie, you're up. 6x plus y equals negative 3. Um, okay, so you do um, minus 6x. Right, so we have y equals what? Perfect. So how do I graph that? Down three. Perfect. Perfect. All right. All right, Amai, I'll let you help me out with the second part of that. What do I have to do? Thank you. Y equals negative X plus two. Two. Then what do I do? I thought the slope was negative. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, this one looks kind of tricky. Everybody take a look at 14 now. What are you, what is wrong? Why are we looking at it again? What's the answer? Oh, never mind. Come on. 
You're playing around too much. It's not funny. Type in on your calculator, everybody. Y equals negative 6X minus 3. And Y equals negative X plus 2. Is it negative 1, 3? Yeah, my, my graphing was really off. Negative 1, 3. Yeah, should be right there then. Yeah, that's why I let you check your work with your calculator. It doesn't matter how good you are sometimes on the graphs, or it's kind of hard to see. So what did you tell me it was? Negative. Everybody's got it. That's why you're double checking your work with the calculator. Negative one comma three. Now, Broom, while you stepped out, we did a different one. It was number 16. There's parallel lines. So there's no solutions for parallel lines. You hear me? So do 16 right now. I'm trying to see if there's anything different here. No, I think everything else can be done. What's the matter? Yeah, well, I can be negative. Yeah, definitely. No, I mean, you mean in the equation? Yeah. yeah, but it can't be negative Y. So you have to change the signs. Which one is that? All right, let's take a look at 13. So I have X minus Y equals 4 and 2X plus Y equals negative 1. All right, so go ahead, move the X over, right? And then what? So that becomes, yay, very good, very good. All right, graph that for me, what do I do? Go where? Negative four? Yeah, up one, yep. Yeah. Very good. All right. And now, Miss Lupin, I haven't heard from you today. What about the second part here? What do I do? Right here. Oh. Exactly. And now what? How do I graph it? You start at negative one and then go down to the negative. Yeah, so this one was pretty reasonable. All right, so there's our answer. That answer to me looked like what? One comma one comma negative three. <laughs> Everybody's good with that? Anybody have any questions? All right, is anybody else looking at any of these, thinking they're tricky? I don't I don't think so. You guys have the last part where I wrote down the answers also on the last page. Oh, I, I meant to put those on there. Those aren't the answers. Those are the questions. All right. So, so yeah, your answer key, by the way, is your calculator. That's what your answer key is. All right. So now what I want you to do is sit there, get through all of them. All right, all I'm I'm collecting it tomorrow. All 21 problems are supposed to be finished. All right, and you're supposed to be checking them with your calculator. 
to make sure they're correct. All right. The first page, believe it or not, is just the original worksheet. But instead of, I just fixed it for you. I just put the graph. So look at number one. It's the same. All right. So please get to work. Let's go.